Hey guys, I'm Oliver Adams. Today I'm going to be doing a balayage technique on curly hair. I'm going to be using Collider Colors Blue and Jazzy, all by Clairol Professional. You can find these products in wellastore.com. Okay, so today for the lightning, we're going to use Clairol Collider Colors Blue. Collider Colors is one of my favorite products to use, especially when I'm going to use a balayage because of the consistency. Let me show you guys. Once you mix this, see how nice and thick that is? So that way when we go in here to create our balayage on each individual curl, the product will be able to stay right there. Very important when you're doing a technique like this. Okay, so a very important part of this technique is going with the natural flow of the hair. Every client's natural flow will be different. So it's important that before you start that you kind of make sure that that client has the hair falling the way it naturally does or how they would normally style it every day. Once you decide that, you're gonna go and begin your highlighting process using your collider colors. The important thing that you wanna remember is that wherever you put that lightener on first is where it's gonna process the longest, therefore be the lightest, okay? So what I like to do when we're doing this technique is go for the fringe area first. So what I would do is work with gravity, but you're gonna start from the bottom and work your way to the top. Now for this technique, we don't wanna use any type of foils or we don't really have to pre-section. It's just all about going organically with the flow of the curls. So really, literally, all you need is just one clip just so that you can mark that out of the way. So now that our section is starting right here from the bottom, I'll go in. Now the important thing that you wanna remember is that with this balayage technique, you are highlighting each individual curl. So every section has what I like to call curl personality. So every section is your job to find which one of these curls has the most personality in that section. And that's what you're gonna choose for the highlight. Now for me, a lot of times it's the one that's gonna stand out the most or the one that's most defined, okay? I use a foiling comb such as this, so you're easily able to pick up those curls. And almost in a weaving section, you would go in and pick that up. You guys see that? So now you have two individual curls, but when I Put them together like this i'll be able to balayage sometimes i'll twist it like that so that we can create a v you guys can see that again with my product i'm going to start and i go in like a v you'll be able to see that product right there now when you're going towards the front you know they like the money piece where the money resides. So you want to go a little bit higher, but you want to still keep it off of that root. Just drop it just like that. You guys can see the highlights starting to form. So we drop that and then we go to our next section again. With the tension, if you loosen it up, you'll be able to see that curl personality a little bit more. And just create that nice little V. The key to being able to hand paint these curls is making sure that your product is not too runny. That's why Collider Colors is a great lightener to use when you're doing the balayage. Also, I love to use the blue because when you're dealing with the natural levels between three and five, you're gonna pull a lot of warmth. So the blue is gonna cancel that out as it's lifting, it'll be toning. You guys see how that just kind of falls in there? So now that I have this section, again, we're keeping it where you have a little small curl, then a bigger curl, a small curl, you wanna keep that, you know, so that it gives you a more of a natural fall. Again, I'm coming in there, I bring those curls together like a V. I'm going in with my product. This is where the money shot is, so you want to take it pretty high up. They like to see those highlights right in their face. You see, I'm keeping tension on that curl so that I can really spread the product. Again, the key, making sure that you have enough of this dark hair that falls on top of your highlights so it doesn't look too light. You just want pieces of light coming through. You want to kind of hold it off of here so you're not getting the product on this section. Just want it on the top of this section. You start to see you're building your balayage. Excellent technique, guys. We just keep moving around. I like to keep what we call a veil at the top, so that you have enough dark coming down. Some of these you don't even have to take all the way to the top. You can make small V's down here. Again, that's going to make the flow look really natural. So I have continued on and put the placement all around the hair like I showed you. So now that I got all the lightener where it needs to be, I'm gonna let this process for 30 minutes. Then we'll rinse it right out, towel dry it, and we'll apply our jazzing straight out of the bottle right over the entire head of hair. 
This is one of my favorite colors to use because it's no ammonia. It processes very quickly and it's gonna allow your colors to really pop with a vibrant finish. So Jasmine is one of my go-tos whenever I'm doing correct, corrective color or a color change or even trying to create special effects. Jasmine is a great product to use. So now we've rinsed out the Collider colors. We shampooed her one time and now she's towel dry. She's still a little damp. We're gonna go right in with our Jazzing. We're gonna use Red Hot and really make her turn up. All right. Again, I'm gonna take sections, no need for foils. We're gonna go right in here from the bottle. Just put a little, a little goes a long way. I'm actually thumbing it in with my hand from roots to end. You're gonna get the hair that's been highlighted as, as well as the other hair too. So you don't have to go in there and hand pick out the highlights. You're gonna put it all over. Drop it to the next section. I'm gonna do this all over her head. Let it process for 30 minutes. She should be back brand new. Normally we would do this at the bowl while she's laid back, but I just wanted to show you guys the placement. So I brought her back out here, but normally you can do this right at the bowl. You see, I'm just squirting a little bit and using my hands to work the rest. If you go in here and put too much product in, it will make a mess and drip everywhere. So you just want a little one or two squeezes on each section and work it with your hands. That way you're being able to control the product. All right, so here's our finished look. Look how beautiful the, that color is. Show you the highs and lows of your balayage where you see the darkness and the lightness, the contrast beautifully around her fringe. And again, we were able to just go in there with the lighter pieces and tone with the jazzing red hot. And look how beautiful that color is. Now for her finished look, I went ahead and diffused her after we shampooed and conditioned her with our shimmering lights. I went ahead and diffused her just to get that shape. And then I went in with my wand, and just took pieces out to really give her that nice textured look. And here she is, beautiful. So very simple to do, guys. Again, using our Collider Colors balayage method. Going back in, lightening it, and then toning with our Jazzing Red Hot. I think the results came out amazing. Remember, guys, all the products that I use, you can find them on wellastore.com.